Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So every single day I do one thing that is always consistent and that is once I've finished up on the computer I will make myself a cup of coffee and come downstairs to work on some projects. But usually what happens is I'll put my coffee to the side for an hour, get my head into the project, go to take a swig and it's ice cold and I mean it is disgusting. So I have a solution. Actually, wait a second, I should say, we have a solution because there's no I in team. I mean, there is an I in we, if you're French, I guess. But that's besides the point. The things that you're going to be needing is some sort of tile. And this one is a blank art tile. And I've chose this because it's able to take a little bit of heat. You're going to need some copper tape. Some of our very special conductive ink. And a paintbrush. And we're going to talk about how we're going to connect this up in the next part. I'm either going to be connecting this up either using a USB or possibly even a AA battery pack. I'm unsure just right now. But first, we have to tape our area off so we can actually paint the ink on top of this tile. So let's do that. What I've done is I've measured 1.5 centimetres in and I've just squared that off all the way around so my cup can fit on there absolutely perfectly. And now what we've got to do is take our copper strips and stick them along the edges. Now that we've got our copper strips attached, it's time to actually paint it with the conductive ink. There we go, the ink has been painted on and now it's dry. So what we've got to do is paint the edge in a nicer colour because I feel like if I paint the whole thing in the ink, it would be a little bit too dark and it would make it look a little bit ugly. So. I'm going to be using this nice baby blue colour. So just before we test this, I made sure that I put a coat of outdoor varnish over the top just to protect the ink and everything underneath. So I'm going to let my coffee cool down a little bit <laughs> and then we're going to see if it can keep it at a stable temperature. I had to resist the urge to not drink this coffee and let it cool down. So I've also connected this hot plate up to a power supply and it's running at about 5 volts at 1 amp, which is around the same that a USB would be rated at. So we could do an ambient temperature check, which is somewhere around 22 degrees. We can do a temperature check on my coffee, which is around 41 degrees. And if we do a temperature check on my hot plate, you can see that it's around 49.9 degrees, 50 degrees. Which is awesome. So what we're gonna do is just sit our coffee down and leave it for a few minutes. So after around five or 10 minutes of just leaving this on this little plate, it's kept its temperature really nicely. And we can see that by, like that, 40 degrees, which isn't bad at all. And remember, it's only meant to keep your coffee warm, it's not meant to heat it up. Before we attach our USB, I'm going to be attaching one of these, and this is a thermal cutout switch. So, I'm going to be breaking the live and connecting this up in series. So if it hits 40 degrees, it will cut out, and then once it drops below 40 degrees, it will kick in again. So I think that's really cool. I've attached a USB onto my hot plate and plugged it into my computer. I've left it for around five minutes just to warm up and I could already feel it warming up. Bear in mind, because of the thermal cutout switch, it won't go above 40 degrees. It should chill at around 40, 41 degrees Celsius. So let's give it a little test. And I was exactly right, 41 degrees. That's the temperature I like it. And if you would like it to go a little bit hotter, you can use a bigger thermal cutout switch. But I just don't want my coffee going to sub-zero temperatures before I drink it. So this is going to be absolutely perfect for me. So with that being said, that does bring me to the end of the video. I've really enjoyed doing this and I know that this little hot plate is going to get a lot of use.